The syringe at the Wings of Hope Rescue Center located in Kamulu does little to betray the scars of the 18 girls at the facility who are recovering from painful experiences that have forever changed the course of their lives. The experiences of the teenage girls as diverse as their backgrounds, with the majority having already given birth from the abusive sexual encounters, while two are already pregnant. 17-year-old Precious, not her real name, is a teenage mother and among the over 1 million candidates who are eagerly awaiting the 2019 KCPE results after sitting for examination in the just-concluded exercise at the Graceland Christian School. Uyo mwenye alikuwa meajiri kichana, aliosa kunishika, ambapo alinishika na haka, haka ni uluru vibaya. Na nilishindo kuambia mamangu, tunilishindo ni kimuambia antansa aji. Her experience during her pregnancy will draw her life into disarray, her respite coming from her paternal uncle who sought to have the culprit prosecuted. Mamangu, alikuwa na shida kenisa kama naona periods ni kama ambia pana. But the efforts hold it a dead end after her grandmother intervened and the matter was dropped. She she will later go back to school after delivering her baby in spite of her mother's objection in a session that saw her endure stigma. Her life will assume a different trajectory after a good Samaritan directed her to the Wings of Hope Rescue Center, a facility that takes care of victims of rape and domestic violence. We take care of that so that this child can be a child and then go back to school so that they can achieve a goal. She has more confidence, she's of better health, and now she's more focused to forge the life ahead. Having sat for her last KCP examination paper on Thursday, Precious hopes that her new phone delight will help her actualize her childhood dreams. In reproductive health, as in most things, knowledge is power, but across sub Saharan Africa, too many teenage girls lack knowledge of their bodies, their contraceptive options, and their rights. The notion of rights is central. Naliaka, not her real name, is yet another teenager who is recovering from the breezes of her past. Naliaka is among those sitting for this year's KCSC examination. Hers is a story of utter desperation, having been impregnated at the tender age of 13 and becoming a mother at just 14 years. Her accounts as graphical as they are disturbing. I was the only girl who, my, who, was, who used to live with my grandmother back then. So she sent me in the, to the market to, to buy her some things. So when I was returning, that's when this... I, I remember there were like three men who attacked me on the way. They, they told me to, not to say anything. She has since settled at the rescue center with her five-year-old son now in pre-primary too. Another teenage girl, Mwende, not her real name, says her biological father sexually molested her during a midterm vacation when she was aged 13 years. Her predicament will turn from bad to worse after tests at the Kenyatta National Hospital where her teachers had taken her for treatment will deliver a shocking outcome. Her parents will later plot to kill her or have her married off. Similar traumatic experience characterize the stories of other girls housed at the facility who have had to endure untold sufferings at the hands of sexual predators. Uh, I was 15 when I got pregnant. The situation was very bad because I hated men so much, which I still do. The teenage girls just but part of disturbing statistics, indicating that more and more girls are being subjected to sexual abuse, with perpetrators more often than not going scot-free, despite there being stringent laws to curb the vice. Francis Ngala for Channel 1 News.